Reinventing 21st Century Transportation by Larry Hartweg, Zero Energy Design. 100 years before man walked on the moon, the fastest form of transportation was the horse. Abundant, low-cost, sustainable transportation is essential to prosperity. Petroleum is a past-peak, declining energy source with escalating price that has risen 1,750% since the 1973 OPEC oil crisis. We have no choice but to stop burning oil for cars, trucks, construction and farm equipment, trains, ships, and airplanes. To radically reduce unproductive travel, half of American jobs can quickly exploit at least part-time telecommuting. Internet, email, teleconferencing, and telepresence can make knowledge workers available worldwide with no travel expense. Proper management can greatly improve quality, productivity, job satisfaction, and employee retention, lowering new employee education expense with a more loyal staff. In less than a year, telecommuting could eliminate the need to import one drop of oil from the unstable Middle East, greatly reduce pollution, global warming, economic burden, and damage to our roads and bridges. The terribly inefficient 1800s technology internal combustion engine must be rapidly phased out. 80% of the gasoline or diesel fuel consumed is immediately turned into useless, wasted heat. Burning any type of carbon fuel pollutes the air we breathe, creates avoidable deadly respiratory disease, increases the temperature of urban areas, and the entire Earth, which increases the impending disaster of worldwide warming. Electric motors are many times more efficient and less expensive to build, operate, and maintain than internal combustion engines can ever be. Since the 1800s, the challenge of electric cars has always been storage batteries. Thomas Edison developed batteries for the 1800s electric car 1,000-mile endurance race. Many energy storage technology improvements have taken place since then. Electrovea's new lithium-ion super polymer won the NASA award. Their Maya 100 SUV runs 230 miles per charge at highway speeds. Only about 14 by 14 feet, roughly 4 by 4 meters, of today's photovoltaic solar cells plus battery storage technology can provide the power required for an electric car to travel about 12,000 miles or 18,000 kilometers per year for free. Photovoltaic equipment price has been falling 17% per year for the last three years. Several manufacturers now plan to soon produce zero pollution compressed air cars. One four-passenger compressed air car should be on the market for sale in France in 2008. It goes 150 miles per charge. The price for the car and a home compressor to recharge it will be about 7,000 US dollars. Photovoltaic systems or wind systems can operate the air compressor for free. There is simply no reason why mass-produced alternative energy vehicles should cost as much as as today's obsolete, inefficient, overpriced, global warming, internal combustion engine cars and trucks. The U.S. interstate highway system was not designed to handle today's 40% freight load. We must eliminate most of today's domestic freight load from trucks on highways. Heavy freight should be transported by ships augmented with wind systems like huge high-altitude kites or by high-speed electric rail like the reliable profitable electric trains in France, Spain, and Japan. Robert D. Hunt patented a gravity-powered airplane using helium for lift. To descend, the helium is compressed making it a heavier-than-air glider. Versions larger than any previous aircraft can be used for worldwide transoceanic transport of people and freight to deliver food and products very inexpensively to the entire world. Hunt's gravity plane provides endless flight with no fuel required ever. It can take off and land anywhere on land or sea without a runway. We could have built this plane with off-the-shelf technology half a century ago. We must remove our blinders and embrace possibility thinking outside the petroleum box. Emerging new materials will greatly improve many transportation technologies, including the NASA nanotube cable space elevator and nanopaper, which might be used for lightweight solar-powered electric airplanes and even flying cars. Creative genius problem-solving ability must be applied to radical new 21st century transportation innovations. Many off-the-shelf solutions are already available today.